Hi, in this video we're going to actually uh, draw a quadratic. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to grab hold of this button here and perhaps, and then grab a white bit and drag using the trackpad or your mouse so that that's in the middle. Okay, we need to set up the axes so that we can label the axes X and Y. So to do that, go back to the pointer tool, click on a white bit, right click and go to uh, graphics. I like the axis to be bold to stand out and I also like this line style. Okay, and if we could set X axis, there's X, and you'll see a little X has appeared there, and the Y axis there, and the little Y has appeared here. Okay, so we're all set to go. Right, next thing we want you to do is to go to the slider tool and click on the slider tool. press OK and then select again another point because we're going to need three sliders A, B and C and another point here OK right next thing we're going to do is to um, select I'm uh, sorry press cancel and so go back to the point at all it's quite easy to forget to do that Select the A, press Shift, and then select the C. That should highlight all three. Right click and go to Object Properties, and then go to the slider, and then change these values to, uh, let's say, 10, minus 10 to 10. And that will change, because all three are selected, that will change all three. And I want the increments just to go up in one, so that will go up in whole numbers. Go to uh, Color and change the color to some color that you want. I'm going to use green. Right, we'll now enter the function and we'll put in F brackets, it puts in both brackets X, put the arrow key equals A X. Now, you, if you want to do squared, you can either use the hat or you can go to this button over here in this corner and select the squared plus B X plus C. Enter. Okay, so now we've got a quadratic. If we right click on it, so you can I right click on the, on the algebra view or in the graphics view and go to object properties. Uh, go to basic and we have the name and value, so that puts the name of the function because A is 1, it's 1x one squared, B is 1, so it's 1x, and C is 1 at the moment. And we're going to go change the style so make it a little bit thicker. Okay, so if we now move the sliders, you'll see that we get different quadratics. Right, what I want to do is, uh, when we solve a quadratic, what we're actually doing uh, geometrically is we're finding the coordinates of that point here, or the x-coordinate of that point here, and the x-coordinate of that point here. So, in order to get the applet to find that, we go to type in root, and select the first one, polynomial, and the name of the polynomial is f, so we'll put in f, and we'll press enter, and that will put a point now here and here. If we right click on those two points, object properties, and then we'll change the color so they stand out. So I'm going to make my color red, and I'm going to make them stand out a bit more. I'm going to stand out. I'm also going to change their names. Now, to change their names, I need to go back to the pointer tool, just select, just select one, right click, and I can rename in this menu here. So I'm going to call the first one P, and the second one I'm going to call Q. Sorry, let me just right click again, and rename, press, sorry, Q. Right. So it would be good also to actually have the coordinates of these two points on the thing. Okay, so we right click, sorry, let's select the both. Select one, press shift, select the other, right click, 
object properties, go back to basic, and we just want the name and the value. Press OK. And you can see now it's put the coordinates. Now this is fine because we knew that x is minus 1 here and x is 3 here. But if we move, then we can get some decimal values as well. And this is what we're doing when we use the formula. OK. Now, just one last thing that we could add to our diagram is we could write in the solution. So could we just type this in? So just write in uh, x of p, enter. And that just writes down the x coordinate of p. And then x of q. And that writes down the x coordinate of q. Right, we'll add some text to our diagram. So going over here and then selecting the text tool, it's in this one here. So we want some text. Right down here, and we'll write down solutions. X is equal to, now we can select a live object. So we'll select D, and you'll notice it puts the value of D in. or x is equal to, and we'll put in e, and you notice it puts the value of e in. And we'll press OK, and we get the text down here. Maybe make the text a bit bigger, so right click on the text, go to Object Properties, go to Text, and make it like medium, we can make it stand out bold, and we can change the color of it if we want. Okay, now if I move the sliders, you can go back to point and tool before we do that. If you move the sliders, you saw everything will change. It's quite a dynamic sheet here. Now, if I move C, you will say that C, you will notice that C is always the same value as the Y intercept. Also, one other thing you notice if A is negative, then the curve goes that way around, and if A is positive, curve goes that way around. But when you're solving a quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, you are finding where the curves um, cut the x-axis. So I'm just going to add one more thing to my uh, graph here. Text. And I'm going to put uh, a solution, sorry, solve a, instead of putting an A, we'll, we'll do dynamic text. So let's put A, we'll put the value of A in. X, sorry. X. And if we go to symbols and basic, we can select the squared. Plus B, and we'll select the dynamic text. So select B. X. Plus C is equal to zero. Let's move that back one. Okay, we'll press OK, and then perhaps we'll move that down here as well. Okay, and we'll right click on that text, and we will change that to uh, let's put up green, and then make the text bold and medium. Okay, so that what we've got now is that we are safe solving different quadratics. Oh, C I didn't make dynamic, so if we just click on it again, let's make the C dynamic. Delete the C there and select the C from here. If there, therefore, it's now dynamic, so it will change. Okay, so this is a video to show you how to make a GeoGebra applet in order to show you how to what was the graphical solution of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Just one last thing, you can, we don't need that anymore, so we just put that over there like that. Thank you very much for watching.